Reading books can improve one's intellectual prowess and teaches children to learn how to read in their formative years. However, Uganda is afflicted by a poor reading culture. Along Uganda Road is an old decrepit building, which houses the National Library of Uganda. It oversees all libraries across the country. The shelves of the library are stocked with all sorts of books on science, biology, medicine, law, and commerce to mention but a few. I chanced one of the oldest newspapers in Uganda during the colonial times called the Uganda Herald of January 1942. There are also books on fighting corruption, the history of Northern Bantu, written by John Rosco. The history is rich and the catalog is long, but we found a few people reading in the library. Majority were students. The reading culture of Uganda is quite what we call law right now because I think the adult community is not so used to reading as a friend in their lives. But um, what we are trying to do now is to build a reading culture from the younger generation. It has also been noted that what attracts the adult group is largely newspapers. Because what we see is that people read newspapers mainly because they want to read about sports. So if the library doesn't have something to do with sports, they will not go to the library. Uganda has 47 public libraries and 100 community libraries, which are mainly utilized by students. What the adult community wants to read, people who are out of school, is the history of Uganda, the cultures of Uganda, stories that can affect their current life in their age. And that is what we don't have. The publishing industry in Uganda is mainly focused on textbooks. I asked Stella Nekusa what plans government has to change the state of affairs. This gap can be bridged if we manage to partner with other, other, let's say, ministries. If they accept to partner with us and we work with the agricultural ministry and be able to have their information here, health ministry, have their information, the education, if they are accept and work with us as partners. The students who utilize the facility talk to NTV about the benefits and what needs to be done to improve the services here. I am able to read on my own and copy my notes because at school they give us notes to read. It's a peaceful environment. What I think they have to change in this library, making it more wide, to acquire many other students. Behind the highly guarded fence of Kampala Capital City Authority lies another public library the Kampala Library and Information Center. The KCC Library is well stocked. I see books on zoology, that is to do with animals. I also see books on law. I see books on uh, agriculture, also home economics and family living, management and public relations. On this other side, I see books on social sciences. But some are gathering dust just like this one, which is a confirmation to some of what the critics say that the reading culture of most of the Ugandan is so bad that if you want to hide anything from them, just put it in writing. We found the library nearly empty. I asked Juliet Nambi, the Director of Education and Social Services at KCCA, about the trends of reading at the facility. The majority of our people who come to the library are coming to read for exams. We tend to have a huge influx of students coming from universities during the months of October to November, of May to June, because they know that they have exams to write. Each person is required to pay 2,000 shillings to access the library, a fee that many consider high. I think 2,000 is not too much, but the good thing is that all teachers and all students come in for free. They don't have to pay. So many people are not comfortable with the men in uniform. Do you think that could be one of the reasons as to why people don't find it easy to come and access your library? It could be, on one hand, uh, though the people who come do come and they're very welcome. We spoke to some of the adults we found in the library on what propels them to read books. I am a consultant and for me they need to be informed, they need to be educated and they need to communicate accurately and relevantly. When did you last read a book? Hi, I'm currently reading a book. It's called uh, The Outliers by Malcolm Gardwell. Uh, literature books, actually, I rarely do. Uh, I'm a Catholic. I read my Bible diary every day. KCCA's future plan is to construct one of the biggest and best libraries in Kampala, but it might be a wastage of resources if people are not inclined to read. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.